Hey guys, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat, we're gonna show you the Polycom Real Presence Group 500 system. Skype, you're dead to me. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Blenda.com. We got a new toy, I'm so excited. Bye -bye. We did. We got a big that toy, really you guys. High pitched, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. This is the Polycom Real Presence Group 500. Group 500. Now they make different sizes. They do. So we're showing you basically what is kind of the medium sized version. They also make a smaller and a bigger version. But the bottom line is this little bad boy has so many capabilities, it's ridiculous. And we're still just learning them. They, it was literally installed an hour ago. I wouldn't really call what we did an installation because as you can see, we have a big spaghetti right. mess of wires here, um, which we'll show you kind of, let me spin it around a little bit and show you what we got going on. First of all, you'll notice we have two monitors hanging up here at the moment. That's because this system will use two different HDMI outputs, one to each monitor, and one monitor can be a primary monitor, uh, which the people are on and the second is like a presentation monitor. We also have an ethernet cable which goes into the wall there. We got power. Uh, what do we have? We have a we have audio um, input. Yeah, this is an audio input from the microphone which look over right there. over there on the table. You see we have one of those high quality polycom uh, conference room. And what's mics. important about that is that the audio isn't being picked up from way across the room when you're the guy way over there. Yeah, and you can put, you know, more or bigger or better, whatever. And then we also have uh, this HDMI kind of control unit that goes, it's a special controller that goes from this box mm -hmm. into this camera. Oh, this whole system is just gorgeous, first of all. Yes. I was really impressed by the design oh, of everything. this is surreal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, wow. uh, I just blew my mind. I know. <laughs> we'll show this to you uh, here in a bit, but it's robotic. Are you? We have another robot <sighs> here in the Geek House. The cool thing about this camera is it does full 1080p and it does it at 60 frames a second. Also, something else cool is that the drive mechanisms in here are all uh, electromagnetic. Electric, electromagnetic. So there's no gears. That way if we grab it and move it around, yeah, you're not stripping gears right. and hurting it, okay? Uh, which is very cool. And by the way, when this system goes to sleep, when you're not using it, it will literally turn itself around so that you don't feel like it's watching you at all times. How yeah. awesome is that? That is very, very cool. <laughs> all right. Let's right, show let's how here. it works. Now, one thing that I will tell you about the 500 series is that this thing has the built-in ability to bridge up to eight different uh, conferences at once right. built into the system. That's new because in older kinds of uh, video conference systems, you had to have a standalone bridge mm -hmm. and you often had to also, you know, people used to have to dial in with these things called ISDN lines. I know you never heard of that before. Now it's all going through the internet. Um, and so we can connect up to eight different calls and, and we're gonna show you what, what this, how this kind of works. And, but, but on one, well, I guess we're gonna get to that later. Okay, so here's what I would like to point out right now. Dave, come over here and give them, yeah. give them the view Take from back here. System. Okay. My goodness, you he's, look like a monitor He's trying hog. to He's trying to do like my, uh, my well, edit suite. Here's the thing that I want you to realize. We've got four different operating systems. We've got Mac, we've got PC, <laughs> we've got Callie coughing. Sorry. She's still getting over a bronchitis, folks. <laughs> so we'll Send her a voice. little tweet tell, wishing her well. <laughs> We have uh, Android and we have iOS. Mm -hmm. And these are all here. We're about to call into our system through the network on these devices. But we also have Mr. Peterson on the joining CEA us. Bot. That's right, on the CEA bot. And he is going to make an attempt remotely to join us from Seattle. So let's start it up. First, uh, let's do it on let's do it on this one. All right, on the iPad. Okay. Oh no, no this no, is no. a Samsung this tablet. Is, yeah. This is the twelve inch Samsung tablet. Uh all right, so what are you doing right so now? So what you're, I'm doing is I'm thinking... typing in the IP address of that system. And, and by the way, the system tells you what the IP address is on Look, it's ring. Whoa. Okay. Right. I muted it. We muted ourselves. 
So now what we're seeing is we've got, because of the way we have it configured, we've got one of us, we've got the remote caller there and we've got our room there. Now let's add another call. We're gonna add the iPad, the iPad mini this time, call. We have it set to auto, Mute. we have it set to auto answer. And so now, whoa, now we've got one over <laughs> here and one over here, okay? And now call But we're gonna here. keep on going. So now <laughs> let's do it from the, Windows machine, it says it's connecting. And I'm gonna mute that microphone proactively. And while we're at it, we're just gonna go ahead and call in with this one here <laughs> as well. And it's connecting. Mute that. Wait, is that me? That's not muted. Woo! That yeah. one, okay, that one's muted, that when one's muted. When you do muted. something like this, well, you know, you get that. Effect. Here. But here. you can see all the different uh, angles and videos. Mr. Nowadays. Peterson, you call in now too. <laughs> We're a calling fools. Now you see it says incoming, incoming. call and, and now Dave Peterson has joined. So it's automatically optimizing and placing yeah. things all over the place. Oh, we're muted. Okay, hang on. Oh, and we have in down in the corner. Oh, she just turned oh. off the mute. Uh, no. Mute, <laughs> mute. That was Dave. Oh, now we're getting it from the double here. <laughs> it's not the <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to turn off a couple right. of these. So, what's cool is you see that we keep adding more calls and they're just popping up in there. You and don't have to, you, there's no manual labor, right? You don't have to say answer. That's right. Which or cool. you can. Or you can. you can set it up so you, you do. We can do that as well, yeah. Which becomes a pain if you have eight different people calling in right. you know, at a pre-scheduled time. So that's pretty cool. Also, that remote control will allow us to do several things. You can move the camera around. Well, so I'm gonna go ahead and kick you guys, kick all of these off. You're gonna kick them all off? Well, kick the, not okay. Dave. Dave can stay there. Okay. But you got you kick yours kick off. Kick these off. Okay. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna hang up that call right there. And by the way, okay. these are native apps for the different systems. You can see like there's different control functions. I can mute, unmute. I can turn the camera off. So I just turned, I, yeah. you can see up there, I just disabled my camera because maybe, I don't know, I'm going somewhere or whatever, <laughs> okay? Um, also, on this, I've got four cameras going here and I've got a little one down at the bottom, but I can take my own view off. I don't need that. You know, I can turn it on, turn it off, whatever. Um, uh, hang up, etc. So, and I can control my volume here independently so of what I'm hearing. Yeah. So we're just gonna hang that up. But this I'm is a native learning. iOS app and this is an Android right. app and you know, all that stuff. Okay, so kill this one as well. Kill this one as well, that yeah, one's I'm already. Still, I'm still learning the system, so I haven't quite figured out how to show my view yet this while is, everybody this is else. Off. Oh, you have one going. Turn that Oh, one. that's this one right here. <laughs> okay. All right, we got rid of all the calls, and I really like this remote, first of all. It's awesome looking. Wait, <laughs> show them how you charge the battery. Oh. I've never seen anything so cool. This is really cool. So you just pull this out and you're not having to go buy double A batteries or anything. You just plug this into a wall charger. I guess that's and what bam, it does. And bam, I, I guess. Why, maybe, maybe it does something USB, else. Maybe, the, I don't know, maybe you can, does it, it may It may be a USB key where you like has memory and you can put presentations no, on it. that's a charge. I don't know. Well, that's because the look, there's also a plus and minus here. That plus um, and minus corresponds to the one that's up inside. Oh, I okay. yeah. already looked. Okay, well, it's awesome anyway. Trust me, I don't know much about the system, but I know that <laughs> <laughs> all right so this so you have these uh these phone these uh phone this the phone, phone dial right and so you use this to dial different numbers to go in and out or check this out oh did you see what just happened presets baby well, that's pretty cool yeah <laughs> so and you it's can, fast it is super fast so uh you can just set up different presets by and it works just like a radio you just hold down the one and it'll set that preset for you by show, the way show manual or you can just manually just move move it around go up by the way down. you guys can't see it because right now you're probably only watching us through like 720p but that's a oh. full 1080p 60 uh, video and it looks amazing. We're actually, those monitors we're using are 4K monitors and they're upscaling from 1080p as well. So it just looks incredible. I'm gonna zoom in. You, Skype never looked like that. I'll no, tell you that right now. definitely not. 
There you go, John. Smile. Nice. Nice so, chin. But you are demonstrating that it has a 12x zoom capability. Yeah. And it, it That's optical good. zoom too. Yeah, it's real optical zoom. How awesome is it that? It looks good. That's All great. Right, go and, you know, set. you can imagine, for example, using this in maybe a classroom environment or something yes. where you, you have a whole bunch of people, you know, in the room, one lecture uh, person lecturing, and you could have somebody moving the camera from a lecturer to, let's say, a whiteboard where they're making notes Indeed. and stuff like that. You Lots know? of learning going Lots on learning. with systems like this. Yep. And you know where else you can go to get lots of learning and fill that big brain. Geekbee.tv? Linda.com. Oh, yeah, Linda.com. <laughs> Forward slash Geekbee. Forward slash Geekbee. <laughs> So uh, at Linda, you can learn all sorts of things, like how to build the apps that this system runs on. You could, and then you could learn how to do the finances to account for all the money you make after you build those apps. Or 3D animation, just cause it's cool. You could learn Photoshop so that you could create icons and graphics for your apps. There are like a bazillion different courses on lynda.com slash geekbeat, so go check it out. See what you want to learn, and you'll get seven days free. A free week. Wow. I Geek can learn a TV. Lot. I mean, lynda.com <laughs> forward slash TV. <geekbee> TV. <laughs> All right, so what else do we have to show? Okay, so the other thing that I want to show you guys, because we can't do like a full on uh, demonstration of the platform yet. We, we just, just got this system an hour ago. Yeah, literally, we're still learning it ourselves. But I do want to show you what's happening on the back end because there's a really nice control interface. Come over here, Dave, let me show you a little bit of this. So what we've got is a really cool web-based interface. Interestingly, look, it's uh, while we've got something going on, it tells you, okay, we're eight minutes into this uh, call. We can unmute the thing, we can Wait, do stuff over. are you over. supposed to touch this? I'm not really allowed to, but hmm. they gave me the password. So uh, anyway, it, okay? so as we look back in here, you can see there's all kinds of menus where we could place a call directly from the back end, but we can do other stuff like manage the system. Um, I, let's see, I particularly like the fact that you can go in and put your own information in there. You can put, uh, you can set up call settings. Uh, for example, audio video here, um, monitors. Well, we've got two monitors set up. So we've got monitor number one and you can change the resolution manually if you want to or leave it on automatic. And then you switch over to monitor two, same thing here, manual or automatic setup. We can control the audio. Um, we can use the basic general polycom uh, audio inputs. There's all kinds of cool stuff. Look at this particular feature. Enable keyboard noise reduction. Oh, that is awesome. So if people are typing, as they often do during meetings, it's going to notice that and kill that audio. It, it, take, it basically mutes that repetitive ta -da 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 that drives everyone insane. <laughs> okay. So they there are just pages and pages of menu uh, options here so that we've been going through. So you can just kind of use it and you don't really have to know how to do much or you can get nitty gritty into the details and change some stuff up. And what's really important because this system is built for enterprises right. is that you could have a system administrator who sees all this back end stuff and none of this is exposed on the end user who just wants to come in, dial a number and have it work. You know, that's the biggest yeah. problem that used to happen. People wouldn't use video conference systems because they were like, oh my God, I can't work that. That's just right. too much. It's like they were repositioning satellites. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. It was too hard. So I'm so excited that we can now use the Win conference room. That's right. Um, to its fullest extent now. That's right. I'm so excited by that. Because uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna have so much fun with this. By the way, <laughs> there are also some other super secret things coming up that uh, we don't have installed today but we are going to be working with the Polycom team to get installed. Dave's very excited about it. <laughs> we all and, are. Yeah, and we're gonna be able to do cool things with you guys yes. using these systems. So stay so tuned for that. So more information about that. Yeah. Uh, we won't know much more than until next week even, but yeah. uh, we're working on it and we'll yeah. keep you updated. Make sure you're following. Uh, all the videos at geekbeat.tv, youtube.com slash geekbeat.tv, his social profile, google.com slash plus, 
John P or twitter.com slash John Pose. No, you want to follow google.com forward slash plus Callie Lewis or twitter.com forward slash Callie Lewis. Or hey, just Geek Beat everywhere. Yeah, follow Geek, Geek, Geek Beat. Beat. That's, yeah. the, that's the good one to follow. Anyway, <laughs> thumbs up on YouTube, guys. Sure, if you got them. We'll see you next time. Bye. I got to get back to playing with this. I know. Ken is going to kill me. He oh my God. What would you rather have right now, sex or ice cream? Telescopes and unmanned spacecraft. I was in one of those. Houston, we have a problem. Lethality. I mean, 10 grams of this stuff is enough to kill you. So I'm constantly worrying just how many Starbucks espresso frappuccinos can I actually drink?